Einek exposed as Charles Boy react over INEC release of breakdown of PVC registration according to states in Nigeria. My dear, I can assure you for free that the Northerners that they are given the high numbers, I can assure you, did not even register. Listen guys, go and do your investigation. Or they use children to register. And they come out to tell you that, oh, so 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 and so number. Nigeria, we need to carry out a real census and get the real number of people in this country. Do you know what INEC is trying to say? People of the South did not vote. So at the end of the day, it's all strategy for them to declare certain individuals as the winner. What they are trying to tell you is that if a Northerner is not involved in your in your election or has your your back, uh, uh, you have your backing, you may not be able to succeed in the game called election. And this is why some people are saying, let us break up. Okay, since there's no fairness, let's break up. Let's get all the details. In the wake of the just concluded registration of the permanent voters PVC conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the renowned actor and human rights activist Charlie Boy, popularly known as Charlie Boy, has reacted to the report of registers of residents in each state published by the electoral body. INEC has lied to Nigerians again. For those who are aware, following the experience of the July 30th deadline of PVC registration in Nigeria, the Professor Mahmoud Yakubu led INEC, proceeded to publish a breakdown of the total number of registration that took place in each state across the Federation. According to the details posted on his official social media handle on August the 1st, 2022, the Electoral body indicated that over 12 million Nigerians completed registration for PVC within the past few months. INEC said over, over this number, you know, fresh registration about 10 million plus, complete what was about 12 million plus, and what have you. Male, 6, 6 million plus, female, 6 million plus, PVCs, 87 million, youth, 8.7 million. As expected, INEC publication has led to a flaunts of reactions among prominent persons across the across Nigeria. In a post on his verified Twitter handle some minutes ago, Charlie Boyd described the low number of registration in the southeast region of the country as a deliberate action to ensure that Peter Obi is not given chance. Going forward, the renowned actor stated he was expecting a large number of registration from youths in the southeast because so much noise was made on social media about the importance of getting PVCs ahead of next year's general election. INEC has come now to lie to all of us. They are lying. And if we can have an, indiv an independent process take place devoid of Nigerians to carry out the registration, you'll be shocked how different these numbers will be. They know what they are doing. They are up to something. But we keep, we keep saying the truth. Something is seriously going wrong. So one of the areas, because I can assure you for free that they allocated these numbers. One of the areas that these people have gone ahead and says that, uh, oh, uh, they did not have very good number of people vote. These people, I can assure you for free, you know, uh, is from the southeast. They don't want a southeastern and so they want to weaken the power of votes okay and from the south is they want to ensure that the southeastern and is not given the opportunity how can you tell me that from the southeast yeah people i know that you know they will cite the instance of saying oh biafra blah 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 but again you can perceive the lies all over you can perceive the lies as much as even in the southeast religious clergy was telling people if you don't register don't come to mass they are telling us giving us coke and boo stories that people from the southeast did not vote hi nick tell us another story give us another story don't come and lie to us we know you guys very well we know what you are up to we know how you rule we know how you want to ensure that you manipulate the system to favor certain individuals you know, like Charlie Boy suggested, on a more serious note, let's get an independent person, an independent personality altogether. Come up and tell us how these things happen. 
that people from the southeast did not go ahead and vote. I tell you sincerely, they want to ensure that, you know, if even from the southeast, you know, that uh, Peter Obi is not given the opportunity and they just, you know, they make it like look like uh, they did not vote for Peter Obi, they did not vote for him. That's not very true. But in the north, you see the high number. How many, how many Malam get chance to go stand for line, collect PVC? Think about them now, give me a reply. How many get chance to go stand for line, stand for line for a long time, then come back and say, okay, oh, I don't collect my PVC. Can you see what's happening? Can you see for yourself? Yeah, these are the days upon us. Nigeria, we need to carry out a censor and get, the, and the censor should not be carried out by Nigeria because we don't have, we cannot count. Uh, we not go primary school, we can't count. You see that counting, we will not do it well. I can assure you for free. We can't count. Mm, it's true, we can't count. And so they should not give us, they should not uh, saddle us with the responsibility to make it count. We can't count. It will not be accurate. Uh, if you say no, let them count, it will not be accurate. Uh, so let's get an individual, let's get independent body. Okay, do the, do the, do the, uh, what's it called now? An independent body altogether that has no interest. Come in and carry out the exercise and come and tell me. A place that is partially dispersed, they will tell you that, um, he uh, has so and so number of, and people are not, people know they stay there. People know they the place. Ah, Nigeria. Let's be lying, small, let's not lie. It, uh, let's not make the lie too conspicuous now. People are watching. People know. They know what's going on. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. You know, I know, we know. You know, I know, we know. But this is what they are doing to ensure that, you know, the South is, the marginalization of the South is did not just start today. It did not just start today. It has been for a long time, I can assure you for free. They want to ensure that the South East does not have a voice. It's a deliberate attempt, it's a deliberate uh, effort to circumvent the will of the people of the South East. And do you blame them when they say, you know what, let us leave since we are not wanted there's no we are not we're not fighting that we must be wanted to your turn to israel let's go yes they say don't go but yet they will not include them does it make sense so these are some of the things we're experiencing now in a country called nigeria where truth is is relative where there is no truth where the, where the word called truth is not what you thought about it has become you know a different ball game altogether well these are sadly the things that are going on and Nigerians, we can see for ourselves. So let's make that difference as we stand together as one. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.